Long ago, in the early years of the Second Age, the great Elden Smiths forged rings of power. Nine for mortal men. Seven for the Dwarf Lords. Three for the tall Elf Kings. But then the Dark Lord learned the craft of ring-making and made the Master Ring. The one ring to rule them all. Okay, so the uh, first turn just started and I wasn't very happy with it. Uh, it really sort of let us get away. We only made a measly three points in here. We've got warriors all over the battle board. Frodo's out in front. It's not looking good. Let's see if we can rescue some uh, of this turn. So it's Frodo's go. So he's going to load up another one. Oh, and it is a uh, event tile. Now this event tile can be cancelled if we discard these three types of items. Now that's a life token, a shield, and a card. Now life total tokens are pretty expensive, so I don't really want to do that. Now we can discard. I think we can actually get rid of this. Let's just have a quick look. Now we're allowed to look at this. These are actually meant to be placed here. I just placed them here so you can see more of the awesome board. But what happens here? At the Prouncing Prony, Ring Bearer may discard one ring token to receive Gandalf's letter card. Okay, well unfortunately we do not want to do that because he doesn't have a ring token to discard. So we are going to cancel this event and to cancel this event we need to discard a card, a life token and a shield. And that's not a problem. So we're going to discard a life token and we'll discard a card. Mm, yep, yeah, we'll discard, no we won't. Hmm. We'll discard a card. No. What are we going to do? Which card are we going to discard? Oh, it's Terrible. Okay, well we'll discard one of these shields, that's easy enough. And now I just gotta figure out what kind of card I want to discard. I think I'm going to discard this card here. Okay, so we have cancelled that and we are now draw another one because you've got to draw until oh well that was a complete waste of time. Can't cancel this one. So it moves down the track. Now this one here is the prancing pony. The ring bearer may discard one token to receive Gandalf's letter card, but unfortunately he does not have the token, so he cannot discard one, which is pretty bad. Just put this over here. Now I kind of want to move this along a bit, so I'm going to discard one of Frodo's sneak cards, but these are all wild because of his ability. All white cards are wild, and move him along one as well. Gets another token. And he also receives one of these, which I wish he had five seconds ago. Okay, now we just go to the battle board, and the first one we reveal is blank. Oh, brilliant. And the second one we reveal moves white. Okay, so that is very, very cool. So, what we can do here is, what we're going to do is, we have the opportunity to place someone before he actually creates this before this event resolves, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to spend two of our wild cards and place Gandalf in this zone here. Now this guy activates on the white and he charges in and Gandalf instantly kills him. Gandalf is taken out, put up there, out of play, and this guy is taken out put up out of play, and we gain the two shields. We gain another two shields. So, he's got quite a lot of shields now. All right, and that's a lot safer now. Now, the reason why we did that is because, well, we wanted to kill that piece, basically, before he got to move Sauron. You see, this piece here is gonna, when this piece moves, he's also gonna move in that same spot, but now that's clear, so we can move in there, and then we can kill him. Anything in a square we can kill anyway, by discarding two cards. So we didn't really lose anything then. 
I guess he could have discarded the two cards and actually, yeah, why didn't we do that? So, we're not going to use Gandalf actually. He's just going to discard two cards and all his cards are wild so it doesn't make a difference. We're going to discard the same two cards and it's still going to kill this dude because he is in this space. And that way we've still got Gandalf on the table. Nice. Okay, let's move to the next player, which is Sam. Hopefully this isn't going to be so painful. Come on. Oh, it's just ridiculous. Again. Okay, so this time you get a walker. That moves him up one. This gets picked up. And we reveal a new card from the encounter deck. And this is a wolf. I can get that in shot. And we can kill him by just moving up our guy. Okay, so if you're actually wondering what the threat of the foe deck is, it is if there is ever eight cards in the foe line, we have been captured. And see, these are like the guys chasing us. So we want to keep this under eight. And remember, a dice roll will reveal two. So we've really got to keep it under six. So I think I'm going to just... So I think I'm actually going to discard one walking card. Oh, it says discard two. Okay, so I'm going to discard two walking cards and I'm going to discard, I'm going to move Sam one up on the board. And that is going to get rid of this guy and get rid of this guy. Feel a bit safer now, good old Sam. Anyway, Sam's not done yet. He is going to spend, no, not, he's done. So he's going to use his room, because he hasn't actually played any cards, he can do any of the card, the non-playing card effects. And because he's not playing any cards, he's going to draw two cards, like so. Nice. Okay, now we have to resolve the battle board here. So let's flip it over. And it's a black moves to three, and the black hasn't even made it to the table yet. So let's put him out. One to three like so. Okay, so there's no other activation and okay, so he's actually going to spend two more tokens and they're two battle tokens and he's going to place uh, Lorien here. Actually, he's going to place, yeah, he's going to place Lorien there. Okay, this is a bit dangerous, but I think we can get by. Okay, it is now Mary's turn. Let's flip this over. Ooh, Perfect. He gets one of these. So this is revealed. Look at that was there, yeah. This is revealed. Orcs of the White Hand. Discard one Gandalf card. Oh, I can't reach. It's, hang on. There we are. Discard one Gandalf card. Okay, so uh, Mary moves one up and gains a heart token. And that's good because that's all he needs. And he's only got one card, so he's going to draw two cards instead of playing any actions. That's one, two. And he gets a fellowship and a combat. Combat and a fellowship. Okay, so now it is Pippin's turn. Draw another tile. Ooh, he gets a fellowship. Reveal another monster. Look at this. Vargas of Hand. Discard two tokens. That's really full on. So he comes out and we move along one friendship and he gets to Strider. So he picks up the Strider card, which is two walking icons. Okay, so he's got a lot of icons available to him. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna discard two combat. Okay, so Strider goes on the end there and he's got tons of cards. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna discard two combat, like so. And he's gonna use this card we place out Gimli on the board here. He's then going to spend a grey sneak and a fellowship, and this is actually uh, Butterbur, which gives him two icons, so that's three icons. And that's going to move along one, and grab him a sun, and move along two, one, two, and that gets him a ring, and it also gets him the fire branding. And this is the first yellow card. You can just discard this to defeat any foe. Very cool. So, he gets two, and he gets the fire brand. What I might do is I'll just move this guy out. And now, of course, it is Fatty's turn, and we really wanted Fatty to get a, sh uh, like, uh, 
get a ring, we can get one. So, we reveal a new card. Ooh, and it is another time track. Let's see what it is. Awesome. So, okay, so we're actually not gonna cancel that because when we move down here, it says, the Nazgul Strike at Bree. If hiding is complete, that is the tree line, the active player receives Bill the Pony card. Otherwise, Sauron moves for each hiding place still to be covered. Now, out of some huge amount of luck, we have actually completed hiding, so he gets Bill the Pony. One player uses this card as one shield or one life token. Okay, excellent. Okay, now we have the opportunity to move along a little bit. Uh, let's just see what Glorfindel gives him. So, so as he has not actually played any cards, he has the choice of doing a uh, non-action, you know, like drawing or something. And what he's going to do, he's going to do, instead of drawing a card or moving or changing his position, he's just going to destroy the outermost monster, which happens to be that discard two tokens one. Very tough. That's his playing card section. And now we need to activate this. So we have a green and we have a black. I mean a red. So the red moves in here and the green moves in here. Now, because Gimli's there, it is actually blocked. So instead, he's going to move here onto this space, and I don't know what that symbol is. I'll have to look it up. Give me a sec. Oh, so what that is, uh, he's been hunting us and he's delayed us. So we actually have to move our activity marker back two on the main track. That's actually pretty annoying. So that's back two. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think that'll give him rings, unfortunately. Oh well. This guy is in the square box, which means he can kill him. Now, unfortunately, when the reward for killing this guy is to move him back one pace. And if we look, he is actually at the very last spot anyway. So it's not going to give him any help. But at the same time, his ability, this guy's ability is double damage. So his next move is going to move him into here. Which means that Sauron's going to take two steps closer. We don't want that to happen, so we're going to kill him by discarding two cards. And just going to discard a fellowship and a walking card and he is discarded Shoot. okay so that is the end of turn of uh, round two i guess you'd call it and yeah it's looking uh not particularly good so what i think i might do is i might just head straight into the next round and upload two rounds at a time so it's back to frodo's go so let's reveal and he gets a walking icon okay so that's one over picks up a ring and we reveal a new monster okay now the question is we are not going to do anything we're not going to play any cards which means we can destroy this one card and now it is Sam's turn so Sam reveals we reveal a new card ooh what's this guy Easterlings Discard two life tokens, he's pretty harsh. But that does mean he moves up one point here and we've completed the fellowship track and for a reward, we get a copy of Glorfindel, uh, which uh, gives us two movement. Okay, so basically I think it's we should really start moving ahead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use both of these guys and travel two spaces. There he goes, one, two, he gets a ring, this card is sent over to the battle board. And because we land on the six, we have to reveal two cards. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Okay, that's pretty bad. Go to the battle board and see what fanciness we've got. Let's reveal. Click. Oh, it's blank. Nothing happens. Perfect. Ooh, a lot of luck there. Okay, it's now Pippin's turn. Pippin reveals. It is a time clock that we can't stop. So it moves straight down, battle board marker. And this is pretty terrible. The Nazgul attack at Weathertop, each player discards one axe, one shield, otherwise roll. So he can discard a shield and he's gonna discard this guy because all them are wild for him. So he's safe. Sam can't do it. Mary can't do it. Pippin discards a shield and a wild card. And Fatty can't do it. Okay, so we're rolling for Sam. 
and roll. Ooh, that means two. We're rolling for Mary, and he gets three. My God. And we're rolling for Fatty. Fatty gets. Oh. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's game over. Wow, I just got crushed. Okay, so that's pretty horrendous. So you remember Sam rolled a two. That's one, two. And Pippin rolled three. That's one, two, three. And Sam has to reveal two cards off the top of the foe deck. Now, if there's eight if there's eight cards at the end of the turn, then we've lost. So we have to now we, we haven't actually lost, but I just thought we were going to. So we have to discard some cards. Now, what has he got here? What has Mary got? Mary has a couple of tokens and not many cards up to his name. Now, have a look at these monsters. Scard a yellow card, scard one ring token, which he can do. Scard one Gandalf, he can't do. Scard two life tokens, can't do. Scard all your cards, roll a die. Scard one life token, discard two of them. Okay, so first is he is going to not make any other movement. Okay, he's not going to play any cards, which means you can destroy the outmost card. So that gets removed. Now he can't play any cards. Then he is going to discard one. Well, I guess he's going to have to discard. He's going to discard one heart token and discard one ring token and kill these two guys as well. And that's going to give us some leeway, but unfortunately, it's going to real bite us in the butt when it comes to the corruption stage. Okay, so what happens here, we reveal, it is the red guy move. Now the red guy has already been destroyed in the last turn. And I believe that's permanent. Once they're destroyed, they're off the board forever, are they not? Yes, so he's completely removed from the game. So nothing happens. Awesome. Okay, so that's the end of Mary's go and we have only just by the narrowest of margins, not lost the game on the first board. Awesome. Now it's Fatty's turn. So let's see what he gets. Flip. It is a fellowship. So we reveal one more card. Okay, it says discard. It's a, uh, what is that? Dead faces. I guess that's the edge of the swamp. Anyway, discard one joker card or wild card, whatever you call them. So that is discard one wild card. Now, Fatty, hmm, Fatty has, okay, he can kill a monster and advance the track, and that's what he's gonna do. Oh, he can't because they're not, ah. Oh. Yeah, well, actually, he can. So he's gonna discard this card and play this card. Now, the discarding card gets rid of this guy because it's discard one wild card, and he spends a movement token to move him up one. Wow, we are not going well, but then we get to deal with this. Okay, so let's flip it over for doing. Ooh, it's a double movement. Okay, so this guy does not have charge, which means he goes here and then he goes to here, which means you have to roll another dice. Now, unfortunately, we cannot put out any of our other characters. We've still got Boromir, who's the easiest to put out, but unfortunately not. So, we go one, which means we activate yet another... This means that we activate another thing, and then we go to here, which means we've got to roll a dice. So, we pull this off the bottom tile stack, and we reveal it. Oh, look at that, it's another purple. And that moves him into here. Okay, so that's uh, not particularly good. But this was triggered, so we have to roll again. Okay, and the roll is... Ooh, two. Terrible. And finally, we have to just move him up two spaces. One, two. Okay, so this has been a pretty horrific board for us. We've still got three spaces to go to finish it. That's three more fights on the board. We've only got, God, I've only got a few tiles left. We've only got two more spaces on the event track. 
You want to try and finish these boards really quick. You don't you usually don't want to get past the third uh, event for time to finish the board. But having to discard so many cards to deal with the foe line and the battle board just completely changes this game. But yeah, we're not doing very well. So we'll see how we go in the next couple of rounds. Thanks guys, and I will catch you next time. Long ago, in the early years of the Second Age, the great Elven Smiths forged rings of power. Nine for mortal men. Seven for the Dwarf Lords, three for the Tall Elf Kings. But then the Dark Lord learned the craft of ring-making and made the Master Ring. The one ring to rule them all. <laughs>